All right, what's going on guys? It's Patrick again. Uh, I'm just gonna be talking about another ETF today uh, that I talked about uh, two videos ago in my big ETF uh, video. It's gonna be called ARKQ, so A-R-K-Q. Um, that's gonna be for autonomous technology and robotics. Uh, that's more of like AI, robotics, stuff like that. That's gonna be uh, in these types of companies in this big ETF that you can purchase uh, on the stock market. Uh, just to get started, Remember to like that video and subscribe if you guys are liking these videos. Um, and just to let you guys know that I am not a financial advisor. And uh, if you guys do want to start investing into these ETFs and into the stock market, uh, just consult with whoever's uh, doing your financials and a financial advisor to make sure um, you're making the right decisions. And I'm just here for purely entertainment and to give you guys uh, some information to better help your decisions. All right, with that, uh, let's get straight into it. Um, so the ARC... Uh, Q ETF is going to be on the stock market, ARKQ, as I previously said. That's going to be for 3D printing, space exploration, energy storage, robotics, autonomous vehicles, stuff like that. And a couple of uh, um, couple of companies that are going to be in this ETF are going to be things like Tesla, uh, John Deere, uh, JD.com, which is going to be more uh, online shopping, uh, we have some other ones. Let me look at my notes right here. We have stuff like Google or uh, Kratos Defense and Security, more of the online sector, some stuff that you may not even know of, uh, but it's ingra uh, integrated into your daily lives, whether that's uh, privacy on your iPhone so it doesn't get hacked by uh, certain people or uh, privacy whenever you're on websites or on Google or Yahoo or for your email, stuff like that that you don't even think of. There's all companies for that, and uh, it's very important that they're there um, so that we can keep our uh, privacy and uh, better uh, help the world and help each other. Um, so going back to some of the companies, um, Tesla, there's 10% of Tesla with about uh, $294 trillion in that. Uh, in this specific ETF, I know I said uh, um, Tesla is in the other one as well. Uh, that's going to be another uh, stake that you can have in here if you want to own a little Tesla, but you don't want the volatility of Tesla. Uh, we have stuff like John Deere, which is going to be 5% of this. It's going to be $160 trillion, or $160 million, sorry. Um, we have Google, which is going to be 100 and $26 million um, and more companies like that. Uh, another couple of companies that are gonna be more in the lower percentages are Alibaba, um, Apple, Raven makes uh, video games. I know they've made a couple of Call of Duties in the background along with some other companies. Um, Workhorse, which I've talked about before, uh, Nvidia, so they make computer parts for uh, PCs. Um, that's very big right now, especially with uh, kids being online, playing more video games uh, when they're at home, and they're buying more parts to upgrade their PC, to start streaming, or other stuff like that, to compete in tournaments and esports and stuff like that. Um, Virgin Galactic, which is a space company, and uh, Amazon, which everybody knows about. And uh, if you guys actually show, uh, you guys will see a little picture right here. Um, it's going to be the... the um, the chart for ARCQ, uh, so it's a really good chart. All of these are going to be kind of similar just because of uh, how big the market is taking off right now. And um, really, there's a pullback right now, so you'll see that it's gone down over the last uh, maybe month or a uh, couple of days. But you'll see really um, that this is a good buy-in time and that there's potential for growth over um, year to multiple years, uh, especially if you see... Um, that some of these companies are still small and people haven't heard of them. Um, and there are some big uh, movers in there like NVIDIA, Amazon, Apple, stuff like that, that are more uh, bigger scale and more companies that people have heard of rather than stuff like uh, Raven or Virgin Galactic or uh, companies like that that still have room to grow. And um, not saying that they're going to uh, seven times their stock or something like that. But it's definitely something that's going to grow 10 to 15 percent every year, uh, especially with how uh, digitized uh, the future is going to be with all uh, everybody doing their stuff on computers and uh, more robots in factories and stuff like that. 
So I definitely would give this a, a look if you guys wanted to look into that. Um, if you go to the ARC website, you just click on ARCQ, it'll definitely tell you um, all of the, the companies that are in it. Um, if you just go to see more companies, I know it only shows the top 10, but if you go to see more companies, it lays out all of the stuff, how many shares they got, how, many, how much money they have in each of them, what percentage the ETF is, uh, all of that is listed in ARC, uh, ARC's website. And uh, it's pretty maneuverable, especially for uh, if you're not that tech savvy and uh, you don't really want to go there. I think it's about like two or three clicks to find out all these all this information. And it's all on there for everybody to look at. Um, so they're very transparent with all their buys and stuff like that. But I would definitely give it a look at. And uh, remember, if you guys uh, like the video, just give it a like and uh, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.